John, official John recognition. I'm going to um, Ms. Bridget Carrington, presented by the mayor and members of city council. This award is to recognize Ms. Carrington for her personal success as an on, contestant on the ABC Audits TV competition program US. appeared in nine episodes, which included a live performance with the internationally known nine-time Grammy Award winner, singer, songwriter, John Legend. Well, we want to take this opportunity to congratulate you for being such a wonderful poster uh, child for the city of Richmond and bringing uh, such great attention to our brand. We had the opportunity to uh, see you and you have such a supportive family out there. If nobody else is proud, they're proud. And they're here tonight to show that. I believe that I attended a uh, viewing with the family at Hippodrome, uh, and the place was just packed. So thank you for being such a wonderful talent in our city. And we want to disguise the women. John Legend, Jet Lodge, John Legends, that's just the beginning. So thank you so much for congratulations. And I also would like to congratulate you, although all of our city employees are stars, perhaps you're a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> and we just want to, on behalf of the council, want to congratulate you and wish you the best of luck in your new career and what you're working on. And I hope you don't have to lose your one, one respect, but if you do, good luck. Thank you.
I just want to uh, say that uh, we really appreciate this award from the uh, from BML. And uh, when I first became mayor and we got the silver, I said we will not stop until we get the platinum. And so we're delighted to receive the platinum tonight. We're very proud of all of our green initiatives, our green initiative plan. Uh, we're proud to have had the opportunity to uh, hire the first uh, person, uh, full-time person to do green initiatives, Alicia Zakoff, our uh, impressed natural gas buses, all of the good, good things that we've done uh, to make sure that we are a green city. Our new fire station is gold, LEED certified, our schools are LEED certified, and so we're on track, and this is just the beginning, so thank you so much for the support. And I, I also just want to thank you for the reward and just say to everybody in Richmond is on the move. Thanks we have an official recognition award to Dr. Leonard Levi Edlo, presented by Ms. Newville. City Council do hereby officially recognize, honor, and celebrate Dulce Edlo. Co founder of his father's Edlo Pharmacy in January 1974, Dr. Edlo Arenas B.S. in pharmacy from Howard University, a Master's of Divinity from Virginia Union University, and a Doctor of Pharmacy from the University of Florida. Serving as the CEO and pharmacist of Edible's Professional Pharmacy, Dr. Edible is also the pastor of the New Hope Fellowship in Gloucester, Virginia. Elected as a member of the American Pharmacists Association Foundation Board of Directors in 2012, Dr. Edible has served as an executive in residence at the Longwood University School of Business and Economics and holds clinical appointments at three colleges of pharmacy. A dedicated professional, Dr. Edward has served as a, on a number of local, regional, and national boards and organizations and writes articles and presents on topics that include economics, health, and pharmacy. In addition to his many works and endeavors, Dr. Edward also hosts a weekly radio show on WCL and AM in Richmond. Now, therefore, Richmond City Council does hereby officially recognize, honor, and celebrate Dr. Edward and thank him for his contributions to our community and helping to make Richmond work as an even better place to live, visit, and raise a family. Thank you. Dr. Ebo, it's my absolute pleasure to just say thank you on behalf of certainly the residents of the East End community, but certainly the city of Richmond in general. Uh, you have built uh, your work on a legacy that began with your father uh, back in 1945. And you can continue that work and that commitment. And it was hard work, and I, I know that. Um, but you expanded the business, not just uh, in the East End, but certainly on the South Side and at Bonds, of course. And I know there were days that folks came in and didn't have enough money to purchase their medicine. And you made the difference in the lives of people throughout our community and our city. And we just want to say thank you for that legacy of, of commitment and of service to the entire city of Richmond. And so on behalf of certainly City Council, I thank you, but certainly on behalf of those in the East End who will miss coming into the building and uh, running in and checking out, hey, not that low, how are you? Uh, we just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. I just want to add my congratulations, Dr. Ed Lowe, and to thank you not only for Ed Lowe's pharmacy but for your activism in the city of Richmond. You've been a strong voice uh, for uh, social change in the entire city and we really do appreciate that. Uh, 25th Street is not going to be the same with you not being there and so we really appreciate the days uh, and the years that you have put into making Richmond a better place to live and I look back there and I see your wife and I see that I put you together very well and because you're still together. <laughs> Mayor, President, Vice President, Council, uh, Council Person, New Bill, and the rest of the Council. 
and then the people of Richmond. I just want to say thank you. It's good to be able to come down here and receive an award. Uh, I had quite a reputation when we were across the street in the old city hall trying to get things straight from model cities. Uh, but I just, I just say thank you. My father was an orphan, and he was able to go to Robinson School and then come here to Richmond. And as I would say so many times, as I also preach on Sunday morning, use what God gives you because I think we have the smallest pharmacy in the whole country. And like I said, it was having something cold in the winter, which meant the heat and the air conditioning didn't work well, but we worked with that. And because of everyday people uh, love and just being proud to have a person that looked like them, they could come in and have the prescriptions. It just meant so much and it kept me going even though many times I was ready to say, this is it. And even though I won't be dealing with the pharmaceutical product anymore, because health of this city, this community, uh, this whole state, and in fact the whole country, means so much to me, I will continue to find ways to improve health. Uh, if just on the radio show, but I know uh, with other groups as they call on me to make presentations all over this area because we spend too much on health care and don't get the results we should get. And it all comes from a lack of knowledge. So that's, that's going to be my goal in the years that God gives me to just make people know why they're sick, why they're taking all this medicine. And maybe we can save a few lives and save a few dollars. But again, thank you so much.
it's just an absolute honor and pleasure to be able to present this award, to recognize one of Richmond's own uh, born and raised in Jackson War, and just a talent known not just in our city and in our Commonwealth, but throughout the world. And we just wanted to take time to recognize and appreciate uh, his incredible contribution. And I think Mr. Jewell will probably remember this song, and maybe a few of us will have to dig in our archives. Uh, love won't let me wait, but I think Mr. Jewell has that one. But certainly, hopefully, uh, generations uh, of, of now will look back and remember this extraordinary talent, uh, our own son, Mr. Major Harris. Thank you. First of all, as in the words of Mr. Harris, he would say, we are all praises and be to God. Because without God, he would not have gotten where he is today, and I would not be accepting this. I would like to accept this in his arm, because I know he's up there looking down right now with a smile, that infamous smile from one ear to the other, to know that he is being so honored by his home. He loved his home, which he spoke of it all the time. He always said, without his, this is where his roots were. This is where he started from. He could not have gotten anywhere else without starting his place. So again, I would like to thank you. I'm honored, because I know that he is honored, to know that his home family <coughs> loved his home so much. John Nels, another legendary group, Mr. Little Tom, if you would stand, please. We just have wonderful time. We could almost have a little concert here this evening. <laughs> okay, well, maybe not this evening. This is his oldest and dearest friend, and he's going to be missed. Thank you. Thank you. This is his oldest and dearest friend, and this is where one of the groups that he was entangled with growing up in silence. So, yeah, they both are out here. He's still out here saying. Well, thank you. And I know Mr. Uh, Jewell again will remember just a little bit of soap uh, from the job bells. And so uh, the next generations will dig in the archives. But thank you so very much. And congratulations to you, ma'am, as well. Hey, the next award is the Community Service Award presented by Ms. Newbill to Mr. Brian White. The Honorable Members of Richmond City Council do hereby officially recognize Army and Sunbrook celebrating Mr. Brian White, a dedicated leader in this community for the past three years. Mr. White has provided vital support and assistance to families on behalf of the Combined Community Service Project that purchases, prepares, and delivers Thanksgiving baskets of food for those in need throughout the Richmond East in 6th District. During this time, Mr. White has personally helped to sponsor and deliver nearly 100 welcome baskets to appreciated households. In America, public government and community services are considered to be among the most noble and important work of a per that a person can do. And through his leadership and actions, Mr. White has proven his dedication to support of the principles and creed written in the founding documents of our great nation. In that our individual Customers and talent about families, communities, cities, state, and country include not only the aspirations of our federal constitutional republic, but the support of all the citizens in realizing the fulfillment of this promise. Now, therefore, Richmond City Council does hereby officially recognize, honor, and celebrate Mr. White for his outstanding leadership, dedication, and service on behalf of families living in the Richmond Eastern 6th District. And thank you for helping to make Richmond work work in an even better place to live and raise a family. Thank you. Uh, Richmond has a lot of unsung heroes, and Mr. White is one of them. Um, the next set of gentlemen who come up will, are also among them, but uh, I just really want to take this opportunity to say thank you. It's been three years. Time has really flown. And uh, I think one of our um, schools, says it best, and so I'm just going to read what they said. For the last three years, Mr. White has contributed his uh, finances to help purchase Thanksgiving baskets, and then we have gone door to door to deliver them without fanfare, without 
any notice, but just with much appreciation uh, and being able to, you know, feel a great sense of gratitude for uh, certainly uh, being able to help us as families. And this uh, Tuesday prior to Thanksgiving, we dropped off baskets at uh, all five of the elementary schools in the East End and then three of the public housing developments. And so this letter, I think, says it much better than I. Uh, this is from one of our elementary schools who says, on behalf of the students, faculty, and staff of Shimarazo Elementary School, we would like to thank you for the generous donation of Thanksgiving baskets to Shimarazo's families. The Thanksgiving baskets enabled our families in need to celebrate a joyous Thanksgiving holiday. Together, we can work to alleviate hunger, which will enable our students to focus on their academic success. We thank you for your tremendous generosity and commitment to our families. Shemarasa would be greatly honored by your continued partnership with our schools. Thank you so very much. Thank you. And we also banned 
to have a little fun and tell jokes as we are out, you know, trying to load the vehicle and the boxes are missing, you know, uh, the bottoms and things drop out. But gentlemen, thank you so very, very much, Brian, Sam, all of you. Thank you.
to participate with our patients in research to try to find better ways to treat those that we serve. When we're doing research on individuals who are unconscious, as is the case in someone having a seizure, where time is absolutely of the essence to save their life and to preserve their, their brain function, it's critical for us to be able to work as partners with our elected officials, with our citizens, and to have our paramedics, our firefighters, our police officers, our first responders, um, be partners with everyone in the city, to be able to uh, know with confidence that we have your support to be part of projects such as this to try to find better and quicker treatments. In this case, we had your support, as we always have. We don't take it lightly. It's absolutely critical to the work that we do, and it's critical to the future advancements that we continue to make year after year. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you, and a special thanks to all of our paramedics and firefighters and public safety folks, without whose uh, actual day-to-day -day help this would never have been possible. So thank you all so much.